Welcome back darlings and you join me for this uh, thorough deep clean of a mini today. You can see that it's a little bit grubby, although it's a bit hard to tell here. The back gives a much better view. Uh, this overall level of dirt was everywhere. The wheels were particularly bad and the owner said to me they need a, a refurb anyway, but I'll get them as clean as I can. Although it wasn't a case of going and it held for leather. Um, he didn't want me to spend too much time on it, otherwise the cost goes up. The important thing was trying to sort out this hood, which had uh, quite a bit of moss and mold in it. And there's generally giving it a very thorough deep clean and decontamination. Look, mini hoods and the uh, Fiat 500s are particularly bad for getting the moss in them. Uh, but the door rubbers and stuff around washer jets like this that are trapped inside uh, the water spots and stuff like that, is a good indicator it needs a bit of work. Now, onto the headlights typical mini trait these have gone a bit hazy now the owner has already sanded and polished these once now i'm looking at these thinking okay i'm gonna have to do the same again so what i do is i go off and give them a wash first and i i'm using a rinseless wash here to get them clean because i always do the headlights first because if you're wet sanding they can produce a bit of muck and slurry and stuff like that so i wash them and i dry them with the airline to see what's going on and i looked at these thinking hmm they're not so bad. I'm going to try polishing them. So what I've got here, I've got uh, Koch Chemi H9 on a Eurofiber 50-50 pad, Buff and Shine Eurofiber pad. And these are the results I got out of it. So I'm pretty pleased with that. I think that's pretty clear. And um, it means I didn't have to wet sand it. So that's good, good work. And it means I can spend more time doing something else. So what you're watching in this video actually is about three hours of total work. So it's quite a lot of effort to clean this car. So the interior cleaning I'm going to do first, this is just a dry clean, so it's dusting and hoovering using various brushes and nozzles and uh, various tools that I've got available to me, but there's no chemicals being used during the clean here. And that's because the customer didn't want to spend that and they wanted me to focus on spending the time on the outside of the car. Even with the dry clean, you can get these mats pretty clean. So I'm using the Miele turbo brush and I'm using my uh, Vortex pulse gun uh, on the air compressor. That Miele turbo brush is incredibly good and it's very, very similar to using one of those cone shaped drill brushes. So I got that done and the job I need to do now, the first job on the exterior is doing the hood. So I'm using Koch Chemi Green Star about one to 20 here and I'm using the white drill brush, but in my hand if you actually have it on the drill it's a bit too aggressive in my opinion and this hood wasn't in the best of condition so i'm being as gentle as i can whilst getting into the fibers and then for the odd spot afterwards i'm using the little uh, tire brush tire cleaning brush because that helps get in between the fibers again that's all done now i'm doing the pre-wash day now pre-wash here you see me spraying a different chemical on the wheels i'm using malco break off on the wheels and drying it to the uh, uh, applying it to the dry wheels because it grips on dry stuff very well it's a slightly gel formula is also designed to go onto the dry wheel the pre-wash chemical on the paintwork is um garage therapy snow v2 i absolutely love it and the reason i'm putting a pre-wash on the wheels is they really need a lot of love to get some of the heavy stuff off this was the level of dirt left on the paint post pre-wash so that's what the contact wash is going to have to deal with now, in terms of the wheels, after rinsing off more thoroughly, I'm now applying an acidic wheel cleaner, and that is KKD Devil's Juice at one to four, and I'm leaving that to dwell for about five minutes. So while I'm going around in the shuts here and stuff, the front passenger wheel is getting the love from the KKD, and then when that one's done, I'm about to go and clean it, I'll go and spray up the next wheel. So nothing's being left for too long to dwell. So I'm kind of keeping an eye on the times, and making sure that I'm doing one wheel at a time. So I'm now loading up the next wheel while I then go and work on this back one. 
and then in a minute you're going to see a bit more a detailed view of what's going on with the cleaning. So the Malco brake off got a lot off, which was good. Now you can see that the acidic wheel cleaner is really getting into the uh, the last bits that are there. But there was also still some residue left on the wheels. This is the point. The owner said these need to be refurbed, and you can really tell up close the paint's kind of crazed and cracked. So whatever the dirt is in there, it's kind of getting in behind the uh, the paint or the clear at the very least. But I thought I'm curious to see what we can get here. So I'm going to give you a thorough rinse and put on a bit of um, auto wheel here. Just want to see where it lights up. But there was definitely heavy corrosion behind the spokes and stuff. And you can see after about five minutes where the stains were is where the fallout remover was reacting. I brush it off, but it's still there. It's still in the clear. So that's as much as I was going to do there because again, the owner didn't want me to spend too much time on those. We had a budget and that's what we were working to. I'm now washing the car, contact washing the car, and I'm foaming on Koch Chemi VB at about 2%. No, that's not true, it was 1%. And I'm also I'm foaming it on with the MJJC V3S. This is about the only time I use the MJJC because I find it over aerates and dries out the, the product. However, when you're using it as a shampoo, that's not such a problem. A nice thick foam that you're working on quite quickly is fine and I do section by section on the car and then because it's the caustic shampoo I'm rinsing it off straight away afterwards that's an important thing in my opinion um, I don't want to leave those caustic chemicals on there to dwell and cause any staining especially with things like the uh, black plastic trims on these that's done though right I'm now doing fallout removal this is Corosol about five minutes to dwell there's quite a lot on there it's just hard to see I'm giving it a contact wash, which I don't always do, um, but it sometimes works. And in this case, there's quite a lot on there, so to help loosen it up as much as possible. And now I'm doing the demineralizing. Now the thing is, watch now. You see that sheeting? So that was um, Garage Therapy WSR, water spot remover. Up until that point, there had been no hydrophobic. So I think it just goes to show how clogged the paint was on this. They're getting breathless now. I'm doing some tar removal and then doing an IPA wipe down. And then the LSP that I'm applying here is Nova Luster because it gives you about four to six months of protection and it's got some filling ability. So it will make the paint look glossier. And the final touches are some tyre dressing. In this case, it's Gion Tyre Q2M. And just in time for some befores and afters. Thanks for sticking with me. Uh, descriptions and links to all the products are down below if you want any of them. If not, thanks very much for watching anyway, and I will see you in the next one. I hope you enjoyed it.